Hi there and welcome to the let's play of Deus Ex. I'm Baron. Okay, let's get this show on the road and play a new game. I will play on medium. So you could choose a different name, but I think JC Denton is just fine. You can pick between several appearances, the first one is just fine. And since uh, Deus Ex is a mix of an FPS and an RPG, you can pick a few skills. I won't, since see you get 500 skill points, I won't computer. Oh. Your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I have already discussed the matter with the Senator. I take it he was agreeable? He didn't really have a choice. Has he been infected? Oh yes, most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This plague, the rioting, is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over into the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretentious old men playing at running the world. But the world left them behind long ago. We are the future. We have other problems. UNATCO? Formed by executive order after the terrorist strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. He's relocated to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The Augmentation Project? Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. Necessary, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon there will be order again. A new age! Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon, that city will be a reality, and we will be crowned its kings. Not better than kings. Gods. So yeah, it doesn't matter uh, if you didn't understand the introduction. I felt the same when I played the game for the first time. Uh, it will all make sense once you've played through the game. And we are on Liberty Island. I've actually been there. I must admit the statue looks a little different uh, in reality, but then again this takes place in the future. So there has been a terrorist attack, the statue has been damaged. Um, actually, I, uh, because I've played this game, um, I've been able to find my way around uh, a statue of Liberty and the islands. Uh, there are some levels in New York that actually are placed on the real, uh, on, on reality, the real deal, so to say. That was, that was useful. Anyway, um, I misclicked. I wanted to upgrade my skills, uh, but I clicked on start. <laughs> Doo -doo. So we got the introduction, not a biggie. So this is our inventory. We have a first a med kit, a riot prod, and a gun. We're in good health. We have three augmentations, the automatic friend or foe identification, we have light, and we have an info link. So I wanted to upgrade my skills. Um, so I have 5000 skill points. I want to upgrade lock picking. that takes 1800. I want to upgrade electronics, so you start at untrained, next stop is trained. We were already trained with pistol, so I upgrade electronics and I upgrade computer. So here you see, untrained, trained, advanced, master. Ta da! That's it. So I have 275 skill points left, can't do anything with that. 
so here we have our goals, our conversations, images and logs. I, my orders are to stay here. Uh, I'd let the bots do the fighting if I were you. I'm glad this thing has bulletproof glass. Yeah, me too. Heads up, JC. Your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. There's Paul. He's not running now. Let's pick up the soda. I'm not picking up the 40. I'm not into liquor. Paul, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the Coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but Unaco better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gep gun, or a mini crossbow. Never know when I might come up against some heavy armor. Give me the gep gun. The gep gun might be useful. They have a security bot on patrol near the statue entrance. Great. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the north dock, a UNATCO informant will give you a key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue. But don't forget about Agent Herman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. We're not finished yet, my friend. You just gonna stay here? There's been some activity at sea. I'm going to watch the coast. Why'd they bring you back to New York? I don't know what they have planned. I messed up an assassination attempt on one of the triad leaders in Hong Kong. Unatco pulled you out? It's a long story. You better head to the statue. Hold it, brother. Which triad was Unatco targeting? We'll talk about that later. How was your graduation? I want to hear what happened. I wish I could have come. At the time, I could have cared less that Mom and Dad came to mind, but it was a good thing. The UN threw a dinner in honor of me, the first nano-augmented agent. I didn't know that. Guess I must be old news. Dad made a toast. I don't know if you remember his old brown suit. A toast? That doesn't sound like our father. It was hard for him in front of the diplomats, but he savored every moment. Strange how proud he could be when so much was due to... our augmentations. Yes, he was proud. I believe that much. It was nice to have done something for him and Mom. I wish someone could have been there for you. I'm used to being on my own. One can be too self-sufficient, I'm coming to believe. And that's all he says. What's your take on the situation, Corporal? The bots have them bottled up, sir. We'd go right in if it weren't for the whole back order. How'd they get one of our agents? Gunter went rogue on us. When the order came, he wouldn't pull back. Now you get to bail him out. Welcome aboard, Agent. I do uh, see some tearing here. Tearing. Can I, can I do something about that? Probably not in here. Oh well. Okay, so apparently since Half-Life can't have a first person shooter without putting a crowbar into it. Binoculars, we don't really need those. I'll take a lock pick then. So we can go for a swim if we want to. Because there are two crates. One with the battery in it, and one with the multi tool. Nothing. 
Nah. So here's a bot. You don't mess with the bot. NSF everywhere, JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. A UNATCO informant on the North Dock can get you inside the statue. Look for a bomb. Identify yourself with the phrase iron and copper. Okay. Looks like they got one. If you want to make a covert approach, remember the Academy stealth course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. I don't need you. I don't need you. Okay. Bring him somewhere where we don't see him. So there's one over here, and there's one here. Was that? I didn't see a uniform. Nothing. I guess we're safe. I guess so too. Throw you down here. What do you have? Okay. No, I want to get up here, please. Thank you. Pick up the crate. Smash it. And get a gas grenade. Where does he go? <laughs> he saw me, not a good thing. Gonna get this pig. Okay, we got it. Gotcha. 
Be careful. The NSF has set up patchwork security systems here. Okay, I have set up the turrets and cameras in the statue rooms. It ha a hasty defense, but since we won't be uh, here long, it should work. The security computer login is NSF001. The password is Smash the State. Alrighty. The NSF put a commercial grade security bot in this area. You can either avoid its patrol route, or, if you're feeling lucky, try and take it out with the EMP grenades or explosives. I wouldn't recommend taking it on with small arms. Ooh. Oh, that was close. How about you, my friend? You carry a big rifle. <laughs> now I have it. Thank you. So let's see. Um, I want you here. I want you here. I want you here. I actually don't need you. You can go away. Thank you. I don't need you. You can go away. Thank you. I don't need a knife. The rest is good though. Thank you. And um, I don't need you equipped. That worked nicely. So there's the camera. See it's moving. We could attack it or we can just hack the terminal. We can hack it like this. The higher your computer skill is, the faster you can do that. And you can't change the turret status right now because I'm not good enough with computers. Yet. But we don't have to hack it. Uh, NSF001 smash the state. So we can use the turret to actually attack anybody, enemies, everything, or nothing. We open the doors. Deactivate the turrets. Thank you. There's the flame. like we got one. Bring him out so that nobody sees his... Um, I would say corpse, but he's just unconscious. Sees him lying there unconsciously. And another lockpick. So here we have a trash and a chest. As you can see it has a lock strength of 40%. That means we need two lock picks to pick it at our current um, uh, skill level. And the door strength is 50%. That means we could actually blow this thing open by using a rocket.
Ah, that's what I did. We get some 3306 ammo and 100 credits. Very good. Moving on. Welcome aboard, Agent. Yeah. So let us have a lockpick, and we do happen to have a nano key here. The nano key will open this thing, and we get 50 uh, skill points for being thorough. There's a multi-tool, another crowbar. Shit. Didn't wanna fall down. And that's that. So, uh, if we knew the code, we could just enter it. Uh, we don't have the code, so we use it. Multi-tool. And we get um, 25 more skill points. Very nice. Tranquilizer dance. Attention night shift. Van camera system login. Same as the old login. Setcom, new password, your netcode 001. Yes. We will be to add darts on Sundays, uh, Saturday suckers. So setcom, your netcode 001. And here we are. So we deactivate all the cameras. Uh, but we could have opened the door too that way if we wanted to. But it was already open. Everything was clear an hour ago. Then boom. boom. Yep. Freight base is under lockdown till the danger's gone, Agent Denton. Right. How you guys holding up? Unetco Command made us pull back. I guess for Gunther's sake. What's the deal? We're ready to go in. We're taking a... Oh. We're taking a minimum force approach. We're cops, after all. Ask me. I think we should frag them all. You trespass on Unetco property. You get pumped full of lead. When due process fails us, we really do live in a world of terror. Thought you nanowogs were supposed to be badass killing machines. Guess I was wrong. Guess so. Some advice. You get out there, you're gonna have to tangle with some real sons of bitches. Best thing is to pick them off from 50 or 100 paces with a scope. I scored an extra one from a couple of thugs we dropped down by the dock. You can have it for 700 credits. I also picked up some 10 millimeter ammo and some crossbow darts. Say, 200 for one and 60 for the other. Shouldn't you turn that stuff over to the quartermaster? Sure, I will. As long as command has the rest of us on parade drill, someone might as well put this hardware to use. So, we don't have enough for the scope. I don't have the 700 for the scope. Guess you'll have to go with that minimum force approach, huh? Better have the right equipment, or you'll be sorry. Here's 60 for the tranquilizer darts. So much for that minimum force approach. Thank you. So, uh, we will explore the island some more before we go into the statue. Shit, they're moving towards each other, that is not a good thing. If I take one out, the other one would see me. Oh, 
Bade wirks hier. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. And... Ooh. I would say you're dead, but you're only unconscious. Okay, there's nothing else here. You can also change the ammo. Darts, tranquilizer darts. And now we have regular darts. But you will use tranquilizer darts. Here you see it, you can switch like that around. The bot is friendly, don't worry. It all happened an hour ago. The barge docked and the NSF moved right on in, offloading the cargo into speedboats. Our undercover man, Harley Philbin, should be somewhere out on the docks now. Did I not hit him? I guess I didn't hit him. Okay, that worked. I wasted a bunch of tranquilizer darts. Big fascist. Let's see. Good riddance. This is my blood, apparently this. As you can see, I've been hurt. My left, no, my right leg has been damaged and my um, torso has been damaged. Time you showed up. Iron and copper. The statue is copper on an iron frame, right? Passwords enough, pal. Don't think you know something about the lady I don't. My dad did tours out here. I heard that you can get me inside. Depends. You get your man out, take back the statue, whatever. But I know the commander and I don't want to see him get hurt. Here's a picture so you don't make a mistake. You can trust me. I'll take your word. Here's the key to the front entrance. Commander's not much of a soldier. He'll surrender as soon as he sees you. I need him alive because he's my main contact at the NSF. If he's dead, I don't have much of a business. Thanks. How do you know so much about the Commander? He's my main contact in the NSF. I need him alive and out on bail. Unatco will probably keep him in custody. At least he has a chance if he's alive. I warned him, you know. I said right to his face, don't take weapons into the lady. That makes you as bad as Unatco. Don't forget, it was the NSF that C4 the statue in the first place. Unatco's here to put the pieces back together. Ask me? I think the government did it. They want people to think the NSF are terrorists. Conspiracy theory. I better get paid good for this. There's a knife if you want one. You with Philbin? I get a cut for bringing him over. Tell me what you know about the NSF operation. I'm not that high level. The more elite troops, they're the ones that took over the ship and unloaded it into speedboats. I think we're supposed to be a diversion. A ship? That's all I know. 
The commander gave me a 10 millimeter clip, a box of 30 out 6 ammo, and some crossbow darts, and said, Keep your head down. <laughs> like I'm gonna take on your NATCO troops. Want them? You can have the clip for 175, the 30 out 6 for 300, and the darts for 50. But if I was you, I'd avoid a head on attack altogether and not even use the key Philbin got. I'd go in the statue from the back. Less security that way. See? Um. There are several solutions for every problem in this game. That's what I like about this game. One of the many things that I like about this game. Here's 300. Give me the 30 odd 6 ammo. Thanks. Sure you can't buy some ammo? I'll take the 10 millimeter clip for 175. Put a slug in the commander for me. He's the reason my brother's dead. Sure you can't buy some ammo? I'll give you 50 for the darts. The commander's the whole reason my neighborhood turned into a war zone. Somebody should stick him full of these things like a roast pig. Okay. What's going to happen now? Uh, we will play with the wands. Uh, this will freak them out. But we can't help that. So, see, there's a sunken ship. Let's open the hatch. Yeah, that scares them. Can't be helped, I'm afraid. And down we go. Pick it up? Fuck you. Where is it? I have to... Really? Fine. God damn it. So, we use that. We use that. How much space do I need for that? So, what does that do? Uh, that gives you accuracy. I use that on him. Thank you. What does that do? It makes you reload the thing faster, that is also very good. I use that on you. So we don't really need you. Okay. Now we can go down. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, shit. We healed the torso. <laughs> okay. Better. I don't need the fucking knife. Drop it. Okay. So we also have a nice shotgun now. We have this one. Rod. Crossbow. Pistol. Sort of shotgun. Sniper rifle. Uh, 
How do I? You have a scope too. And of course, we have a rocket launcher. But mainly, we will use the baton. Anyway. Ah, oh, he's coming back. Huh. He realizes there's no real danger here. So we will finish the video here and we will continue in the next one. So thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.